Welcome back to another amazing and beautiful day, everyone. We are going to fish a marsh system that I have yet to go to in quite some time. Taking a new route, though, so I've got new waters right here. It's like a convergence uh, between, like, I, I'm not going to say several, but let's just say two channels. Wow, Christian first cast, and he's uh, already hooked up. So uh, let's hurry up and pick up where we left off. We're going to throw the bio bait. That's what we had tied on from last time. And uh, let's get started. Let's see what happens. About four foot deep right here, maybe five or so where I just cast. I don't know, but there's a lot of bait. You can see on the hummingbird, tons of stuff down there. I'm trying to see if there's some trout inside the mix. Oh, look at that ladyfish thing just come up and hit me like crazy <laughs> that was freaking insane right there this guy's trying to take me out <laughs> freaking ladyfish oh right up there it looked like that was a red I just saw I'm gonna make a cast on it maybe our first shot at one I don't know let's find out we are in a strike zone right now. Uh, yeah, nobody home. Oh, you got it. That's a flounder, it looks like. Nope, that's a little chicken. Oh, this little guy's rambunctious. All right, we're gonna boat flip him. Oh, that was a blind cast, son. I mean, I had seen a red, but then I was like, well, let's just blind cast along the bank. And yep, we are greeted with the first fish of the day. Little mud chicken. <laughs> Come on, son. All right, settle your butt down, bro. That's number four for the bio baits. Blue tail, it's kind of all busted up. Dorsal is busted up a little bit. A good hook set right in the inside of the mouth. I'm telling y'all what, these bio baits do not show any sign of wear. I don't know. I mean, this thing is going to last forever. I'm going to get tired of using it. All right, buddy. Get big. Where's your mama and papa at? Oh, I wasn't even recording. What y'all just missed was me catching another little chicken right over here off this point. Um, I thought I was recording, but I, apparently I wasn't. So yeah, that's number five for the bio baits. You got a lot of movement right here at the mouth between these back lakes. This one feeds the one that I'm about to leave. And there's a lot of bait crossing through. I would expect flounder and reds to be posted up right here. It's a great ambush spot. I'm going to fish it before going through. You'll see me going rather fast, but that's because it's super shallow through there. If I go any slower, well then my bait is basically just going to drag right on the bottom. So it's got to go fast and keep it just under the surface to keep that tail moving. Otherwise, I may as well just be throwing a stick all right, nothing bit. Uh, let's keep moving. We gotta get out of here. Looks like the rain's about to come down. Oh boy, oh boy. I had a shot at four, about five reds. Uh, they were crawling in this back lake that I'm leaving right now. Uh, however, I opted to try and film it for you all to see and all I was able to come away with was the birds. So next time I'll just go after the fish and get them on the GoPro rather than try and get them on the good camera. We'll catch the fish that we need to catch first and then we'll worry about filming. That's usually been my philosophy and it's worked thus far and this is a prime example of why I shouldn't worry about actually trying to uh, film the fish first. Let's catch them first and then we'll film after we've caught our limit. But right now we're heading back 
Uh, I can see my sun off in the distance. The pressure has dropped and we were supposed to have 30% chance of rain. When we looked at the uh, weather app, it showed that all of that cleared and we weren't going to get any of it, but the pressure has dropped. The clouds are overhead, the sun is gone, and I'm trying to hurry up and make it back to the truck before we uh, get bamboozled by Mother Nature. Okay everyone, check this out. Uh, I, my battery died and it died whenever we had some rain so I had to put the action hat up but I saw a redfish right back over here against the bank. It was crawling, had the fin out and uh, cast right onto the bank. Oh look at that, he got off. He went into the oyster. Oh that was a good one too. That was a really good red. Well, this is why you use a leader because this oyster will wreck your line and this fella just closed up on my, my line. I should have just kept that oyster and ate it, huh? Instead of the red. Oh, he mangled my lure big time. I see what happened. He pulled it all the way through. But anyhow, I was trying to do the battery swap at the same time of bringing in the redfish, and it just didn't happen. It too, took too long. It was a really nice size red. It was going to be my first keeper of the day. Hopefully we'll get lucky and see another one cruising, but uh, with the rain, I don't know. I may have to put the GoPro away again. Who knows? But uh, man, that would have been number six for the bio bait. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this thing taken care of. For those of y'all that made it this far into the video, I sure do appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I know there hasn't been much action, but it's just the way it goes sometimes. Not every day can be a winner. All right, let's see. There we go. Oh my lord, I didn't think I was going to be able to save the bio bait, but look at that. Pretty much no damage. Yeah, look at that. It survived with only five catches so far. All right, well, let's keep at it. That's gonna do it, everyone. These days can't always be winners. Catching some small fish uh, still uh, keeps you in the hot seat and ready to come back out for the next trip. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna hit up Port O'Connor, gonna do some of the sight casting for those tailing reds on them salt flats and also the grass flats. So we're gonna keep the fingers crossed Hope that we do a lot better out there. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you made it this far in, thank you so much for continuously watching. I sure do appreciate it. It's what helps me to constantly come back out here. So uh, thank you so much. All right, until next time, tight lines, y'all.